about a week ago, I was sent this by some loyal fans of my YouTube channel. But what is it? This is an RGB Duino development board, and essentially it's just like an Arduino Uno, except for this has a tone buzzer and some RGB LEDs inbuilt. Those features are pretty cool, but the thing that's most noticeable about this board is the fact that it's kawaii as fuck. As I showed at the start of this video, it's really easy to program this to play music, and I couldn't be bothered to, you know, just copy the notes across and then just run it. So I went on GitHub, I found a repository, and someone had thankfully gone through and made loads of songs available to play directly on a board like this. So thank you to whoever did that. Um, I will link in the description the GitHub repository so that you can also follow in my footsteps and use his work. Now if I want to upload a new song, I have to read the sheet music, copy the notes across, get the frequencies right, get the note duration right, and that's a pain in the ass to be entirely honest. So I wrote some code that can do this for me. First I import three useful modules, then using Skippy I extract the time domain data from an audio file. Next, I make some adjustments to the data to make processing easier. Then, I use matplotlib to plot the file to see its waveform. So this section of the code is what does the work. It breaks the file into time steps, takes the Fourier transform of each step, and determines the peak frequency component. Let's run it. Here's the plot, and if we zoom in, we can see this is not a solid block, but a proper waveform. When I close the plot, frequency data is printed in the terminal. To prove this code should work, if I give it a pure tone of frequency 440 Hz, the correct waveform and data are outputted. The frequency data from this Python script can be copied across to the Arduino IDE. The number of samples needs to also be updated, and then the code is ready to upload to an UNO board. Now that code should run fine, but in reality, it kind of doesn't work. Um, to demonstrate this, what I did is I recorded Never Gonna Give You Up by Rick Astley, which I showed at the beginning of this video, being played on the board. And then I input it into my code, ran it through, got the frequency data, put it back onto the board, and played it. So let's take a look at that. Now you should never give up on your code, but I'm going to give up on my code because I don't really like information engineering. There are loads of reasons why the sound coming out of my board does not sound good. Um, the first is because it's picking out a single frequency, so your ears pick up whatever the tune is, right? But the code doesn't necessarily. So if you've got like drums in the background, that actually might have a, like, a larger frequency component in the frequency domain than, you know, the melody but your ears kind of tune that out. But obviously my code can't do that. Um, another thing is the amplitude. So uh, because it's only a tone buzzer, it can only play one amplitude and you miss a lot of the information, you know, because the, the loudness, the decibels of the song, it changes all the way through. Um, so that's another reason why you're going to lose quality. To demonstrate this, I ran the original recording of the Imperial March from Star Wars through the code and let's have a look at what came out the end. Whilst I said earlier I don't want to copy out sheet music, 
I did just that for this final track. Um, if you can guess what this track is and leave it in the comments, the first comment that gets it right, I will send one of these boards to you, and that is a promise.